Yo, what's up guys? It's Billy here from Kenosis Energy Solutions. Today we're gonna be installing solar panels to this grow what? So you may or may not know, this is the inverter I have. Here are the specs. It is not the best inverter out there, but it's the one that I have. I got it at a very low price. These are the panels that we're gonna be working with. They are 400 watt solar panels. We have 12 of these. Right now there are 10 down here. I already installed the racks a couple days ago and I'm gonna show you how I'm getting them up on the roof by myself just in case you need to do something like this i wouldn't recommend doing it by yourself if you have somebody available please do get some help maybe a 45 15 in a job just getting the panels up there just keep in mind if you are doing it by yourself it's gonna take you some time but have patience be careful and you get it done Big clamp, it's a 716 bit, so I'll go ahead and panel the close off. This piece right here is branded by Unirac. This is the end, their end clap. And it to be good, it's adjustable. You can use multiple size panels with uh, depth. They come in 35 millimeters, 40. So yeah, with this, you can change and vary the size of the solar panel that you're using. Just enough so you can use them uh, with almost all the models in the market. These are the solar panels from now below. You can see that they have the negative, the positive all the way over there. Each come through their separate ports. They have a dial inside. So all, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up this positive from this panel right here to this negative. And do that until I finish with a negative on this side, on this end, and a positive on that end way over there. And don't leave the cables hanging like this usually what we do is we wrap it around this space right here i'm gonna try to show you how i do that real quick go around like that keep going in circles With something like this move it to the back scrub it around do whatever i left it with tape on this side so it looks this is what it looks with the tape and this is what it looks you wrap around to keep in mind the voltages of your charge controller or your inverter because if you don't if you set more voltage than the controller can handle you can damage the, the device and some devices are as low as 150 volts max and the one that I'm using the grower has max input of 500 volts that's why I can put everything in series up here because I'm not gonna reach 500 volts on the system on the, uh, with the 12 uh, panels in series. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you're gonna have to do strings of three. Sometimes you can do like me. Just have one big string of 12. Technology is moving in that direction. Almost all the inverters coming out, hybrid inverters are coming with high voltage uh, capacity. So yeah, th this is what it, most of the equipment out there is gonna gonna look like all the panels are interconnected the only thing I'm missing now is the wires inside the conduits I gotta do a little curve right here maybe a box right there and a curve right there so that's all the conduit I'm gonna need I'll take measurements of the positive and negative cables. I do need a jumper that's gonna connect from <clears throat> the positive all the way over here to the negative all the way over there. So my positive is gonna come from that left end panel on the front and my negative is gonna come from this right end panel on the top. I'm gonna take those measurements, see how long the cables need to be. In this box, I'm gonna change from PV, PV wire to so AWG number 10 wire 
and then I'm gonna run down below to the inverter. That's about 25 feet that I measured. So I'm gonna show you the final results now. This is what we have coming into our grow water inverter. Here are the specs in case you want to see the, the, spec, the specs real quick. We got the auto transformer here. So in terms of the PV or solar panels, we have 347 volts. It did get cloudy outside. So we have, we don't have much production right now. Our total right now is 960 watts compared to our max, what should be our max production, which should be 4,800 4, as we have 12, 12 solar panels of 400 watts each. That is somewhat low for, for what we're expecting. But it is what we have right now. And as you can see, the symbol says that we are charging a battery and we have 848 watts input to our battery. Charging our battery with PV. We disabled the AC charging. So the only charge source that we have right now is our solar panels. This is the battery voltage, 51.8 right now. And the other stuff our details of the inverter. Again, this is the production. This is our grid, our, our grid uh, voltage right now. And this is the total amount of energy that we're using from the grid. It always has an idle consumption. consumption. As you can see, it, it doesn't get really high because we are using only solar panels right now. The EPS output doesn't show because we have grid available. So as long as we have grid available, the EPS output will be shut off. Only when the grid goes off, we see EPS output because the auto transformer does the, the transfer and it transfers from the grid to the EPS and we have output to our to our loads. In the future, we will be testing uh, powering up our loads with the PV, with and without grid, as well as grid selling, which this inverter is capable, but we do not have a net metering agreement right now, so we don't have to we don't want to get into problems with uh, prepa here in Puerto Rico with the with the grid. So when we are when we are ready for that, we will run some tests and hopefully see if we can sell successfully and how the inverter behaves while while selling and charging batteries and powering up our loads at the same time. That was it for today. A long day of work. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do like, subscribe to the channel. Looking forward on making more videos every time I have the chance. I hope you guys keep learning something. And if you have something to teach me, I'm all open for it. And I want to keep learning. I want to keep getting involved. That's been it for today. Kenosis, Billy out. Peace.